This is the Laugh Time Show. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the Laugh Time Show. I'm Bob. What's up, player? I'm Sean. Player? It's funny you should say player. We're going to talk about the most dangerous toys in the world. These are hilarious, hilarious videos of toys that you don't want your kids playing with. That's for sure. What do you think, Sean? Um... Yeah, I haven't seen the film, the docu, the uh, <laughs> discography, or whatever. I haven't really, I didn't get eyes on it there. I'm not privy. <laughs> you didn't get eyes on so, it? So, uh, yeah, it's going to be, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking that's, might be, if they say it's dangerous, and I believe it, oh, there's yeah. some sketchy things happen with all, there are a lot less regulations back then <laughs> from what I've seen. Like, Whatever. You know, was it like an older dangerous toy? Maybe there's some new one, but the one that's just... over older, I guess. That's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> Looking so, at like, the camera. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what's going on in my head. So I'm sorry if it's unacceptable, but that's pretty much all I got to think about right now. Right, <laughs> oh right at this God. time, I need a little bit more information. What's, what's going on? So, oh my God, I don't know what your particular God has to do with any of what I'm talking about, but this is, I don't need, I don't think God's involved in this part of the show. Where's, where's the dangerous toys here, man? It's a good thing. I think somebody did something about that because if they would let this shit go, there'd be a lot more things going wrong. And then we could do a lot more bad. Our kids would be up to no good with them toys. I mean, who knows what kind of dangerous danger. They would have came up with because they, they don't even really need help, and then you get a tool to do all that dangerous, dangerous stuff, and, and then you're gonna really get, you don't need help to do all that danger. You can do it by yourself when you're a little kid. You get into you gotta make anything dangerous, really. So if you really ask them what I think about the dangerous toy, you know that that thing right that that could be a toy right that could be dangerous. You accidentally press the button too hard and your finger break off and i mean that's danger right there for you and then you don't know what the buttons do what if that button turns off the ceiling you get sucked up in there in the space zone and then you can't breathe because they ain't got no air over there and then you, what other button could suck your butthole so hard goes all consumes your whole have your your go your whole body go in there you know, you press that stupid button that does that that can be dangerous right there you know let's take a look at some of this shit he's talking about some of these toys are very very dangerous don't do this at home folk boys and girls folks and boys and girls I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell you are, were either non-existent or insufficient. Or think to you are. Safe play. Let's take a look at fifteen of the most dangerous kids' toys dangerous ever toys. made. Dangerous. Number fifteen. Oof. Toggle Blade Oof. Barbie. Oof. Generally speaking, Barbie dolls are pretty scary. harmless, but in the 1990s, a more fiery version had Very the market, scary. known as Rollerblade Barbie. She now, what are you you're thinking? Her choking her hazard yellow. and stuff, and Roller then wait till Blade you Barbie. see what happens. Whatever. She said something about fiery. What does that mean? What does that mean, fiery Rollerblade? Skates flicker and flash. Uh oh. Is what, there is fucking fire bombs? What's going on down there? Let's find out, Sean. Rollerblades. Each one of these roller blades used a wheel mechanism similar to the kind found in cigarette lighters. Cigarette lighters? Oh, what is fuck. that about, Sean? What C could possibly go cigarette wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Don't go near any paper or cardboard. There's lots of cigarettes to light up on the ground. Take some shortcuts exactly. with Barbie, of all things. I agree with you, Sean. Let's find out what's going on next, Sean. Let's skate so our way Barbie in there. Rolled, her boots <laughs> Let's not Let's skate, skate around the issue. Let's not skate around this issue. You <laughs> fucking hack. I mean, let's go. What's going on, John? Would shoot out sparks. Whoa! Now, I'm thirsty for this skater aid. Accentuated with things such as hairspray, <laughs> and as a result, a few fires were reported. Her hair is Kindle for the sparks. <laughs> Any longer, and that's just an accident waiting to happen. It's an accident waiting to happen. So it didn't take long for the rollerblade Barbie to be pulled from shelves, and they're now considered to be a collector's item. What do you do once you pull it from the shelf, sir? Or do we really want to know? Exactly. Do we really want to know? He wants no, to start all we the don't. fires himself. He'd be in, he'd be in big trouble. The new Me Too movement. You know what I'm talking about. Number fourteen, mini hammocks. Put simply, hammocks are some of the best hammocks? outdoor beds. How can that be dangerous? Hammocks. And is hammock is a hammock considered a toy? 
Nature is a hammer considered a toy? First anyway? of all, that's this is nature just toys. You gotta rename it. It's not a toy. You have learned it from leisure league activity. Hammer dick. Let's play with the hammock, Daddy. Daddy, let's go play with the hammock. Let's go on there. It's my favorite toy. I got. Imagine getting a fucking hammock for your Christmas present. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with it? I don't even have a space available in my room. We don't have even two trees that are close together in the backyard, motherfucker. Like, where, where am I gonna put it in one tree? How, how are you gonna get fucking two? You can, what am I gonna stand up straight in the fucking hammock? I can't even relax in there. That's dangerous, actually, now that I think about it. Back to me, co-host. Thanks you for Sorry about your uh, 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 view of that, but you're right. Hammocks? And how can they be dangerous? To echo your sentiments yeah, exactly. Right close to the water. Hello. They're going to drown. It probably comes apart and they're going to drown in the water. They have it right over the water. That's the danger, <sighs> right? Let's see how, Sean. This could go anyway. Well, regular hammocks Either pose direction. no harm. It could go right. anyway. You're right. Said, anyway. You you it anyway. poses no it's harm. Very you're literally in a pose where you're not harmed. So, yeah. It's very suspenseful. How no could this way. end? It's this is very, very fire. suspenseful. You're correct. And this. Who's I, kid plays I, I the can't, hammock? I, I don't think I look any. I, I can't do it. I, I just can't. All right, let's watch. The mini versions of them have proven to be extremely deadly. How? How you might ask? Yes, ah, I just did. See? I asked it. You're asking so the same times. thing you're asking. It's amazing. He knew Some I was like ESP. Ask it. He Get said it, I ESP? might ask it. I think he... extra sensory perception. Of course, I asked he... it. Ask Cole. <laughs> Nice feet. Those feet well, look plastic. It turns out that the regular hammocks have spreader bars. Those are fake feet. Spreader Prop. bars. Those are props. Essentially, wooden or plastic bars on either end that ensure that the That's hammock does not collapse. That's why it's not showing the rest of the body because it's fake. It's However, rubber, the mini rubber renditions legs. that became popular with kids in the okay. 1980s and 90s What's so dangerous didn't about this spreader bud? bar. Exactly. I can't take what it. What is so fucking dangerous about this shit? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Why? And as a result, they could easily they twist. Really? Now it's about what? the baby. I didn't, wasn't even listening because I'm so suspense-filled. Like a suspense-filled donut over here. However, the mini renditions that became popular with kids in the 1980s and 90s didn't have these spreader bars. And as a result, they could easily twist. Didn't have spreader bars. They could do something spreader with this kid. Bars. Hold on. Easy They're going to say twist. something in a minute. Around a child and strangle them to How? death. I knew it. How? Strangle the kid. How See? We're going to find out right now, Sean. They can't death. tighten them. After a report that showed 12 children uh, fell victim well, to these hammocks between 1984 and 1995, That's more people that over died 3 from million corona. were recalled Damn. in 1996. As a result, hammocks now. Before. So they're suffocating, too, because that's right. fully Right. And all before, fucking iPhones and texting. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. They wouldn't have came out with that. Exactly. That's the real danger. Exactly. Deemed to be safe to sell. Can't sell 13, both of those things. The CSI to fingerprint the same examination person, kit. The CSI fingerprint examination kit. It's to Can he, we buy those? To get those in Cheerios box tops. It's to to he can see, okay. <laughs> to he can see. Whatever. As far as mid 2000s television show goes, few are as popular as CSI Miami. And while yeah, most popular show ever. Not anymore. Most of those nope. Watching it, we're in the 20 plus crowd. And two. 20 plus crowd. Yeah, that's a big ass plus. Idea of creating a CSI that's a big fucking crowd. For 70 plus. Known as the C yeah, that's right. CSI finger examination plus kit. Just keeps it plus and man. It allowed kids to use fingerprint dust to detect fingerprint. Fingerprint dust. Is that fairy dust? Or just something different? Fingerprint dust. Prints on surfaces. However, after some reports of irritation. That's mm, dangerous. Irritation. People could go to What's jail. that about? What's the irritation going on? What's that about? Mm. Where you what do you know dust? about that, officer? The Asbestos Disease You're Awareness not supposed Organization. To snort it. Exactly. Don't snort it. Oh, it even says crack shot. It does. Don't <laughs> snort crack shot. It does say crack shot. Paid $165,000 <laughs> to conduct I don't care how well it performs. You're not supposed to <laughs> suck it up there, brother. Just leave it alone. Do let it do what it's supposed to do. It's not only dangerous if you don't do it right. Anything can be 
dangerous. Like these glasses could close up any second. <laughs> That's right. I could push them into my head, and then there goes my brain. Okay, those That's are it. dangerous glasses. We can't sell that You're model done. of glasses anymore. That guy pushed his fucking glasses into his head. We can't sell that to anyone. Exactly right. I could have said it better myself, Did you ever brother. Try pushing your glasses on, but you can't see exactly where they are. <gasps> Can't sell those anymore. <laughs> it's good I thing. can't sell those anymore. At least anymore. I got the other eye. Christ, and I'm not wrong. Garbage shark. Garbage shark. Jiminy Crickets. Jiminy Crickets. Jiminy I don't have any eyes. I'll have to <laughs> feel everything around. I'll have to just walk around feeling stuff to know what it is. <gasps> Back to you, Bob. Jimmy Crickets. I still want to know what happens. Oh. <sighs> this, this is like the suspense from the hammock now. <laughs> My eyes are gone. I can't see it anymore. I elbowed the mic because I had all too much time. All from that one thing is a crack shot. All that from that. <laughs> report. They were shocked to well, find from that the about 7% of the Bobby, dust found in the kit. Just dangerous toys led to it, really. It's not just from crack shot. Don't give all those guys <laughs> the credit, whoever made crack shot. They don't get the credit for that joke. <laughs> exactly. And I refuse to pay them out of my own pocket. <laughs> made of tremolite, which is a form of a Tremolite. Since asbestos head a lot, is extremely sure toxic, do. the kits had to be discontinued soon after Ads the report three, went public. Ads in three, two, one. <laughs> I can stab my eyes out now. <laughs> now I don't fucking need them. <laughs> oh man, I'm just trying to put my glasses on. These things are dangerous. <laughs> fucking ads. This is the ads. The ads are the real danger. Kill me. Stab my eyes out. Kill me. I don't want to hear anything again because they fucking advertised. Kill them. Kill everybody responsible I for every ad. I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it anymore. It's right. That's right. No more ads, please. Thank you. That was an ad for I no more ads. I can't do it. <laughs> you don't have to do it. We're going to have to take oh, a break. My. We will be right back. <laughs> he hit himself. That's dangerous. Oh my Quit God. hitting yourself. Quit. Oh, I have side stitches. Some uh, people call them side stickers. I prefer stitches. I can't wait to play that back. I don't know what the fuck you were doing, but man, oh man. I don't either. I never. I love two know. things eating high quality cat food from Petco. <laughs> I'm going to eat your heart if you don't get out of my way of watching the rest of the ass. You knew, you knew the dangers signing up for this ad. You got paid for this, but now you will be punished. I remember your face, girl. Burden. You Same interrupted day. the shit out of what we're doing. <laughs> you too, fucking cat. I don't give a shit how beautiful. I don't care how beautiful you are. You're dead. You're looking the wrong way, bud. I'm coming the other way. <laughs> Not just regular dead. You're dead. And I like cats, but because of this ad, you have to die. Oh my god. Poor cat. <laughs> it's purring, too. The fucking topper. I couldn't have planned that better. Uh, I'm still gonna kill you. Oh. Purring and all. Your last word will be... Petco, the health and wellness company. <laughs> That's your last word. <laughs> Oh my god. Petco, remind me to never buy anything from Petco. That's what the ad did for me. Everybody is never so going excited. there. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me not to support them. Do it now. <laughs> Number 12, the 
Austin Magic Pistol. Oh, Twelve. No, in the not 1940s, way. the regulations around toys just were virtually pissed. non-existent. Yet the There's Austin there, Magic but. Pistol Can't was so that. dangerous that even by the standards of the day, it was considered to be a little crazy. Whoa. Released in uh, 1949 in order to profit off of the Pistols rise of space-themed axes. toys, it was a toy Life gun that shot out more ping pong back balls then. with the help of magic crystals. In reality, magic, crystals. magic crystals! You can also snort those! And these were problematic for two reasons. The first was that it allowed the ping pong you balls put to an shoot eye out, out at ridiculously fast speeds making it very easy to severely injure someone. Hmm. However, what was more you dangerous think? about it? I really like fire. <laughs> I have a fucking gun. Yeah. Fire. And was that, that even just hit? tiny amounts of water or saliva could cause the calcium chloride to exp explode? It's, it's, that's like your bug, Leading to a bug gu gun. Except, yeah, that shit hurts. Did you get a big thing from that? You still, can you see what you, cause you shot yourself in the hand with that bug I did. gun. I Probably really hurt. Boy. And the child's hand alike. Mm -hmm. Water or salt. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Fast mm -hmm. speeds, making it very easy to severely injure someone. Mm -hmm. However, what was more dangerous about it was that even just tiny amounts mm -hmm. of water or mm -hmm. yeah, fucking it's fire it's like saliva can. could cause the mm -hmm. calcium chloride to. Explode. Yeah, it was not that. Leading to a large fireball that would engulf both the toy there, and that, the child's yeah, hand that alike. So it didn't take long for them to be taken off the market. And yeah, today, that. Well, maybe just put something them different in there. That's right. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a Austin. Hello. Oven. Easy Bake Ovens are easily one of the most beloved toys of all time. Bringing the fun of baking to small children, these little ovens would allow kids <laughs> to make tiny cakes all small on their children. own. And while the toy's it's popularity off. led it to be inducted it. into the National Toy right. Hall of Fame in 2006. It's a real thing. It's a real oven. The fucking oven with small children. What could yeah. go wrong? Shortly afterwards, Hasbro created I a version of the toy that gave it. I love my own organs. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> because I was hungry for... Livers? For some dolls. And I wanted to cook A them. really bad look. That's because this new edition had a very poorly conceived oven door. And as a result, countless children got their hands stuck inside. Oh! <laughs> you don't put your whole hand in there, like bud. Numerous second. Your bud. Come you on. You don't put your whole hand in there, bud. Johnny, that's not. No, but the that's thing, not what we're talking that's about. That's what. But I lost the thing that you put in the it's a toy. thing with. Well, you don't use your hand. <laughs> I would be in such a good father. Burns, and in response, <laughs> you Astro would be. To recall approximately you recalled him instantly. I would get him all this stuff, well, and the first thing it. that kills them wins. <laughs> <laughs> then they get the, the the money or whatever the hell. <laughs> They get all the money the trophy, from the other property. The trophy. The ovens have been redesigned so that they're now much safer. And the easy oh ovens can now be found in stores around the world. <laughs> Number 10. Buckyballs. Buckyballs. Bucky. desk toys out there, few are quite as fun as buckyballs. Okay. That's because these tiny little ball-shaped magnets can be I swirled to make many types it. of shapes and designs. And they're able to do so thanks to them being super magnetic. Oh. These magnetic forces are present thanks to them containing a rare earth metal known as neodymium. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Cool toy, I don't know. They make for a very good snack. What? Yet this <laughs> I was thinking hasn't other things. Many like, a toddler from putting put bucky two balls on your in the like, This is problematic because these balls have magnets that are so strong that they will not only form into various shapes inside one's stomach or intestines, but will often stick together through uh -huh. the intestinal walls. Whoopsie this can daisy. cause large holes to form, with symptoms often including vomiting blood and intense pain. Sometimes <laughs> doctors even have to perform surgeries where they remove <laughs> part of a person's intestine. And Take their brain out while you're at it. Take their fucking yeah. brain out. Balls to They're just going to do it again. I was looking for that. <laughs> Put the bucky balls in their fucking brain. Problem solved. Good night. Yet after a lengthy legal battle, they Fuckers. were reinstated in 2016. Regardless, we suggest keeping these desk toys far away from your kids. They gotta sell. They yeah. They fucking come desk toys. Again, if desk toys. Really. Number nine. The clackers. people that get hurt by them should if get hurt. If you grew up in the, the 
fucking clackers. Late 1960s, and you may have had everybody heard of these. Had this simple yet That's addictive toy, <laughs> known as clackers. They were two heavy balls. On I had those. I had a couple of them. Oh yeah, together. I yeah, I remember Modeled those. After the they were hard to do. Ones where you, they spark. Hunt. They were marketed as a way to help with hand-eye coordination. Clacker balls. Typically made out of wood, metal, or acrylic plastic. They would constantly clack thanks to them following the laws of Newton's cradle. So what? Now, if these were just to be an annoying toy, they wouldn't be too much of an That's issue. That's all they were. But after some time, it turned out that the plastic renditions were very dangerous. Oh, Why? This is because these would often shatter into a million pieces and a blind million? unsuspecting kids with a shrapnel. A million? You counted them? You counted the One pieces? One million? million pieces. It's take forever. As a result, One, in 1971, two, the FDA three, decided to four, act by placing strict measures such as prescriptive four, testing and stringent record keeping on on clacker making this exactly made one million pieces <laughs> exactly i, I counted them result, myself <laughs> off the market shortly it afterwards. was exactly one million not nine hundred thousand ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine one million one we million are constantly exactly. adding more people to the top five's production team to bring you all the best content be sure to subscribe exactly. with notifications One on million. and hit the like button. Number eight, Sky Dancer dolls. Well, there are several dolls out there mm. that can talk, sing, sleep, or even eat. There are a few out there that can fly. Yet that's exactly what the Sky exactly. Dancer dolls really? they could fly. could do when they were released by Hasbro in 1994. And as a result, millions but of them were sold over the years. Can. These dolls worked That's by having from kids pull a long Lacoon's string talking. on their back, which then allowed them to launch I remember the air that. and spin like a helicopter. The idea was that they would then land gently. However, the reality is that they would often <laughs> barrel into the ground fast <laughs> while moving mm -hmm. in an erratic flight pattern. This led to over 150 injuries, with these including scratched corneas, temporary blindness, chipped teeth, broken ribs, and facial Come lacerations. On. Broken result, ribs. Really? It's ridiculous. Gonna break from some fucking ridiculous. Thing. You just dirty it and fucking it out the rib. You throw a fucking plastic fork out and it's gonna break the rib. Exactly. They're, exactly. they're not fragile. The exactly. Leading to many being returned for a refund of the for that person. Right. However, if you buy one for your own, no you can spend about 85 bucks. They're gonna just be in and out of the hospital all month. Number seven, Come on. Freaky crawlers. While toy I remember those. is typically a job left for factory workers in developing countries, creepy oh, crawlers ooh, brought the fun in a box. Scary. Released back in 1964, <laughs> kids would use the creepy crawlers thing they maker. They would yeah. snort it. Plastic into a mold. <laughs> I could snort then it. Then it up by the thing maker until it became a plastic toy. You toilet. could snort the anything, man. The problem with it is that it became extremely hot. You could hot. You could snort that liquid, dude. <laughs> And that then you got a injury, plastic blockage <laughs> all up in your nose. Many kids being yeah. Then the the what are you going to do when the you're was wild trying to breathe? The next time you try to breathe, it's all closed up. In fact, the toy even 150,000 people had a clogged up nose tube. It made a reappearance in the 1990s after the toy was made so that the plastic fumes wouldn't be toxic. And yeah, would stay locked that's the least the of your completed. trouble, brother. Regardless, <laughs> the nostalgia brother, it, plastic the has pretty goop. much been phased out of use. You don't need those it organs. It just doesn't sound good at all. If you happen to be on the younger side, chances are you've tried out a hoverboard. Nope. Becoming popular Hoover. around 2015, it's they pronounced. were essentially little electric scooters that would allow you to zoom around your neighborhood at the approximate speed of someone taking a light jog. Now, I'll take a light jog right on your chest. Than scary, it turns <laughs> out <laughs> jog, that's not even a dirty thing. It's not even dirty at all, it's just jog. You can't even do what I said. From red wrists to broken ribs. Number six, Mr. Bean. 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 Mr.
Recall is more aggressive than all that important. It. As in just a few short years, the hoverboard fad was almost completely forgotten. Mother shucks. Mother. Number five, Mother aqua shucks. dots. At first glance, aqua dots look pretty harmless. After all, this toy allows kids to make designs on a tray. Do you by know using what the Hispanics say? Beads. What do they say? Mother flower. They actually say that. Do they really? Yeah, they don't say the actual thing. Mother Once flower. Once the design is made, then it's sprayed with water. And it's at this point. Not that all of them. <laughs> the beads together into a 3D creation. At the time, these fun little crafts proved to be extremely popular. And in 2007, Aqua might have just been that one girl toy of the year award. <laughs> However, while the creations themselves were pretty neat, what was not so neat were the beads used to make them. That actually That's sounds like my executor, this guy. Toxic plasticizer 1.5 pen. A little bit. In 2007, the distributor accidentally used a toxic compound known as 1.4 butane diol. This was problematic because when it was ingested, it would metabolize into problematic. This is problematic. That's not An funny enough. Hypnotic drug. I don't it agree. Wasn't long until children started <laughs> to have seizures, and in some it's seizures, in some cases, fall into comas after <laughs> snacking. When on life some nasty hands you coma, dots. make coma toast. <laughs> This caused regulators from around the world to start recalling the toy. This fucking shit. While it's not known how many of them this were distributed. This is still going. This is going to be our new record alone, the blank was show. Pegged at 4 yeah. million, and there were even concerns that some people would get their hands on these oh. discontinued toys. And then what do they do? Get <laughs> Once all was said and done, Aquadots had to completely rebrand to several other names in order to push off the association. And now all of the beads are only made with regulated materials. The company even went the extra mile by covering beads with a bitter coating. Discouraged <laughs> snacking. And ever since, the toy has been chugging along without picking up and a guide on Shucks. how to mine uranium. Kids were expected to oh, read what the is comic. This? What is this? Of a nuclear experiment. Chances yeah. chugging along without what picking up any wrong? major legal issues. Blow up half the country. Whoops. Whoopsie. Number four, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic like Energy Lab. <laughs> That's a if you fucking a glimpse of a nuclear a experiment, bomb, chances are that you'll have to yeah, find your, your way into play. a high-tech science lab. However, <laughs> in 1950, A.C. Gilbert Company encouraged kids to bring <laughs> the fun of uranium home. Atomic <laughs> science kits. No one what could ever possibly ever go fucking wrong in this heard one? from again. This idea this may sound the last known today. footage of this, <laughs> this <laughs> creation. Or the real deal, uh, as they not only had four tins of uranium, but... Well, let's be... not waste it. We should at least bomb a country I, with the rest I, of it. They're with us here. Right. Beta, alpha, beta, and gamma radiation sources. A cloud chamber. A spintheroscope to watch. That's, that has to be a joke. <laughs> they, they went hard on these kid toys. Fucking kids in the cloud chamber. They won't know that it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. How are we gonna ship all this uranium to that country for the the money that they're paying? Well, we'll Don't make worry it a kids about toy. it. We'll make it in a toy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Yeah, them. If you grow a six finger, shut the fuck up. Don't tell anybody. Watch Adam's decay. An electroscope. It's your fault, Geiger kid. <laughs> It's you did fault. something wrong with this toy. Yeah! Hunter, a 60 page Ruined it for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Ruined for everybody! Now nobody yeah! can have an atomic Look, bomb. And a guide on how to <coughs> mulling uranium. You little shit. Yeah! Kids shit, were shit. Expected to read Shucks. the comic book like. Shit. Like instruction book to understand how the experiments. <laughs> instruction book. I wonder where Gilbert Fuck. is now. Fucking <laughs> uranium. Instruction book. <laughs> How much of your block are you looking to annihilate? You have level. You have lead gloves. This would work. And did the gloves come with it? Melt down your dad's lead sinkers. If he fishes with, make them gloves. You don't need them. From there, they would split atoms of uranium. Oh my Splitting God. atoms. They're splitting atoms in the house. In the household. M235. Measure the. <laughs> oh my god, if you're 35. Samples radioactivity. Observe radioactive decay and even go prospect. Are you fucking serious? Thing for radioactive ores. All of these could get really dangerous. Oh, if they an could get dangerous? <laughs> my god. They could. 
Doesn't sound like it. You're bringing up 235. <laughs> <laughs> At least have it be fake stuff. I'm not worried about fucking COVID masks. They got the real shit. <laughs> fucking uranium. To go wrong. So the kids incentivized safety not by saying that uranium was dangerous, but by rather warning kids that by removing the samples, they would increase the surrounding radioactivity. <laughs> I never knew about this. Yeah. This is incredible. The radioactivity wasn't that There much. really was uranium in the but fucking you could increase kit. it. You could buy it for now. Don't let that stuff Have out of there. Here's your radio 235. And validate their results. Why wasn't but, this like number one on the list? This is the worst thing you could possibly do. <laughs> I gave you radio. I don't know what the worst is going to be. <laughs> this is number But what four. perhaps the most shocking is that these There's kids still probably weren't traces some of this radiation. to make a quick buck, but by professionals who had even consulted phys Dagwood splits the atom. <laughs> they're they're single-handedly responsible for global warming. Blondie and Giving Dagwood split the atom. What does what that table do to you? <laughs> physicist from the Manhattan Project, with the primary purpose supposedly being to educate- Oh, <laughs> I heard it sound fun, uranium. To get more uranium. What? This is, this is, this is a joke. What's that joke? 1949? Exactly. Holy shit. It wasn't as bad back then. You say you'd buy more uranium. <laughs> That's what sounds like a friendly kid activity. <laughs> what do you want to do today? Well, I'm almost out of uranium. I got this book. I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna fucking be a prospector. I'm oh, all out of uranium. Luckily, I found this video on how to find more. Yeah, they didn't even have this video. My dad's that guy. Very helpful. My dad's guy or counter. His battery went dead. <laughs> Prospecting for uranium. <laughs> oh. However, while these kits were super cool, they were just super cool. Super cool. <laughs> Don't head. Is this shit any better than this? It's super cool. To in release one. This <laughs> is because of oh, your family. <laughs> All these kids have Man. seven fingers and three toes. <laughs> That's so cool, Everyone. dude. Look at that kit. But they have this kit to buy more uranium. <laughs> Five hundred dollars. They were far out of the reach of the average family, and so after fewer than Thank five thousand were sold, they were pulled from shelves. <laughs> they were yeah. pulled from shelves. That it took that long no, to find out. Regardless, that these kids are idea. still. Look at that picture. <laughs> Topic Energy Lab. Find uranium. That is the biggest joke ever. Like it's a mom. No way. Their kid remembered for being some of the craziest toys ever made. Is this a real Crazy. thing? It is a real thing. You remember Long it? Darts. Mm -hmm. Existing. If you've ever been to a backyard barbecue, chances oh, are you've man. played a game of lawn darts. Mm -hmm. And while relatively safe editions of the game you are thought quite atomic easy energy to find was today, bad. Hey, <laughs> in the 1980s, these darts were the cause of a lot of conflict. Can't do this after that. <laughs> oh, shit. That was nothing compared to this. <laughs> this will. Pulverize your brain. Get it? Wee, wee, wee. If you keep dart in the same area, the you day, can find bro. more uranium. And <laughs> <laughs> known as jarts was all the rage. Jarts. These oh, were, he said jarts. Quite similar to he regular darts, jarted. except that they were very large. And the intention was for them to be aimed at a hoop on the grass of someone's lawn. Yeah, However, man. It wasn't long until Whoop. injuries began to pile up. Hoop in the grass. Into a head hoop when a in young the grass. girl was killed after a misthrown dart Whoopsie. sailed over a backyard <laughs> fence <laughs> and punctured her skull. Oh. Sprinkles. This event made newspaper headlines across America. And upon further investigation, it was found that a lot of shady things were occurring in the lawn dart. Mm. What about the fucking uranium you're just fucking mining? What is that about? Who gives a flying fuck about lawn darts? You were just mining uranium. Those aren't even Industry. Sharp. They're just flat on the end. Did I say? Did I say uranium? Uranium. Hello. 
That's because the game was only meant to be marketed to adults and was supposed to come with a warning label. Yet despite this, the darts did not meet any safety requirements. To make ma it's a paper airplane. As opposed... Yeah. 3D. Uranium? <laughs> 3D? With a metal tip to go faster. Uh, as opposed catch. to 3D. What? what does that mean? I didn't say that. You said 3D. I said 3D. 3D paper airplane? <laughs> they already are. Matters worse. The danger of the darts but have that's also even been covered up 3D. by the consumer. What? Cover? <laughs> Product Safety Commission. What? Huh? And it was soon revealed that over an eight year period, lawn darts. There was uranium. You say something? Man. Nope. No. 6,100 people to the emergency room. Oh. These what? Nothing? Cases about half and involved. Nope. What? Kids ages 10. What? Or you could store it in your beer, the kids. Sustained were to the head, face, eyes, or ears, with many leading Those to permanent injury or kids, disability. These shocking Why findings darts. led to a massive public outcry, and as a result, they were officially banned from Ooh. being sold in the USA and banned in Canada in 1989. As a result, while safer versions of the toy still exist, the original jarts are now near impossible Jart. to jarts. Fine. Number two. Snack time cabbage patch kid. Number really? two. Fucking atomic energy was number th I know. four. Not even no the most big dangerous. deal. Man, don't worry Long about darts that are shit. worse. Cabbage patch kids are worse. Worse than uranium two thirty five. Right. Cabbage patch kids were all the rage when they came out in nineteen eighty two. And over the years various versions of she them were made in order to convince arm. consumers to buy more of them. And while strange creations such as the swimming cabbage patch kid and cabbage Bird patch kid with growing hair made all the rounds, encouraging the craziest next of generation of fat bucks. Cabbage patch kid. Fat bucks. <laughs> Here, please eat my food. I ate too much. Cabbage please patch. Eat some of this, you fat piece. Encourages the next generation of fat. Fox. <laughs> it's such satisfying to say those two words. Uh, Fat Fox. <laughs> Made in 1996 for the Christmas shopping season, the idea behind them was that you could feed them plastic food that they would then chew, swallow, and poop out. I want to eat plastic they too. They poop the food out. They poop the food out. He said it. <clears throat> they pooped the plastic food out. I want so a plastic battery powered motor could pull it in. Power that motor. A series of small plastic rollers Get your motor right in. Into its head. Mm -hmm. Start it your fucking cabbage patch kid motor. Shovel it in, ah, buddy. Ah. For optimal chewing. That also meant that the motor only went in one Optimal direction. chewing. This meant that when you put something in its mouth, the doll would keep chewing until its ah, mouth was ah. clear. And this meant that anything from that motherfucker hungry fingers were torn to shreds in order to meet the doll's insatiable torn appetite. Torn to shreds. This led to a wave of consumer Ooh, complaints. My God. In response, Mattel was forced to recall a total of five hundred thousand snack time cabbage patch kids while pulling a further <laughs> yeah. two hundred thousand from shelves. And you sure while most smarts. returned the doll and received a forty dollar refund, some still decided to Forty dollars for new today, fingers. Unbelievable. For if you're willing to cough up a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> we do think that you'd agree these were some of the most terrifying dolls of all time. I've never... Number one, <laughs> laser Never chewed... <clears throat> I've never you've ate been to money to cough it up there, sir. I've never laser chewed pointers. on money At or ate glance, money. The toys are pretty cool, as they shoot out a powerful green laser that can hit objects very far away. Oh, and some even have a fun attachment that can make the light dance across the room oh. in a pattern. Yet it turns out that they have the potential to be a lot more dangerous <laughs> than you might <laughs> think. You well, see, in most country, laser pointers can only be sold legally if they have a power output of five milliwatts You got a license for that laser that there, little girl? Harmless. However, the ones sold by Die. illegal street vendors often reach intensities of 10 <laughs> milliwatts or greater, with the help Not of a pair eyes. of simple double or triple A batteries. And while it may seem fun to point them around, there are two main reasons as to why they're so dangerous. The first is that they have the potential to seriously damage someone's cornea if flashed in one's eyes. And even at long ranges, there have been reports of people sustaining eye injuries so bad that they resulted in full or Kids partial Kids riding blindness. with lasers. Beyond right? physical injury, <laughs> these lasers also have the potential to disable an airplane. Whoops. That's because when someone aims it at one, the light will flash across the windshield, blinding the They're pilot, and making it near impossible for them to operate the plane safely. 
Therefore, while these toys may look cool, they are technically illegal to own due to the potential damage they can deal. Yeah. As such, we just hope that governments begin to better clamp down on the sale of these lasers. How do they have that range?